we're going to break down Foo Fighters Monkey Wrench, and that's with the help of my patrons on Patreon. They helped me decide which song to teach, and you can help decide as well. You can check out my Patreon in the link below. Thank you so much for that extra support. All right, let's learn it. All right, take your guitar, drop this down to a D, so a whole step down, which makes this drop D tuning. Go up to the ninth fret and play a power chord over the top two strings here. Because of the tuning, that gives us a B power chord. And so think of uh, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. Now uh, you can do the alternate. And then there's also, for the verses, you can kind of do that palm muted down, all down strumming. So mess with that. But the intro, so you have to go like this. And so the way you would count it is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. So you go four, one, da, da, da. So that is the B, which is on ninth fret. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. And then, which is the open two strings and the second fret. So then when it goes into that verse, it becomes palm muting. But now let's get to that fun riff. So if you were to look at the scale, you've got the 11th fret. It's all on the G string with the open B ringing out with it, which makes it a really fun riff. So check it out, 11th fret, and let's just go through the scale, because it's just a pattern on a one string scale. 11, nine, eight, six, four, one, and that's it. So the first little batch, da 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 da. So just all downs with the open B ringing out. So that's eleven, nine, eight, six. Then then the next pattern starts on nine. So. And all you do is you start on nine and go nine, eight, six, four. So you put those together. Next pattern starts on the six of the G. And so you've got six, four, one, back up to four, six, four. And then when you get to that six again, it's a half step bend. Six, four, one, four, six, four, bend. Yeah. 
And so that gets you through, that's playing over the chords I just taught you. Then we have the palm muting verse. And there's just those a be do be do rest bow. Rest bow. But the rhythm still, you still would count it the same way, other than that little anticipation. Then you've got the pre chorus. And it's just all on that second fret power chord. into what we would call the chorus. So it's that ninth fret again. Sixth fret, and then you do this little bit here, which is between the four and two. And then all the way up a half step past the root chord. So up to the 10th fret, then down to the nine for the progressions to start over again. Six. Most of the time it is da 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 da. You know, not. It's. bridge and it starts on the power chord on the sixth fret so sixth fret of the top two strings there then an E power chord which is the seven and nine on the A and D so. then you're gonna grab that B that ninth fret power chord on the top two strings fifth fret so then it's that piece from earlier Then from there, there's really nothing new to learn except basically just the arrangement because what happens is there's a couple little hits. Little little things there, but it's all built on the uh, everything that we already learned. Then at the end, it just does the two different uh, parts at the end, meaning the uh, the chorus chords but then also those intro chords while he's still singing over it. So just listen to it because you'll, you'll have. So you'd have that, but then you also have the regular one. And 
And at the very end, when you're playing the main part again. It, it does a little tag. And that's just all still, everything's based on the riffs I taught you. lesson thank you again for the continued support you guys really appreciate it also check out my patreon in the link below thank you again hope to see you real soon